veg fan. It's your girl T here. Coming at you from the van again. Eating breakfast. Hash brown. I like mine crunchy. But um, I am up this morning. It was like almost 10 o'clock. Let's see what time it is. It is exactly 9.36. On a Thursday, and I am headed to get iron today. Today's just iron, not blood. And um, thought we'd chit chat on our way down. So, normally, after I get iron, I'm normally like really super, super tired, like drained of energy. But today, I'm gonna try to avoid going home and laying down and if this video is tilted it's sorry it's the camera I mean the vinyl it's on the mount but um, I'm gonna try to avoid that because I need to get my nails done I can see their path still being done so I'm going to get my nails done afterwards I'll try to vlog while I'm getting iron iron so country. <laughs> um, I'll try to vlog while I'm getting it, but um, most of the time, there's like a lot of sickly patients around me, so I don't want to vlog or be on my phone like far taking pictures or stuff like that, because um, or being disrespectful to them because they're like sicker than I am. So I might not do much vlogging. I'll try to take pictures though. This time of how everything goes. Hopefully, hopefully this time around, it won't be so bad. They're um, supposed to be putting a a port in me because it's supposed to be easier for me to get through a port. But we'll see once we get up here what they say. Today's probably be IV because they have to schedule me in for outpatient to put a port in. Like I've said before, this is a um, this is every six weeks, and then six weeks on, six weeks off. But my seventh week of being off, we check all levels, and then we do it again. And I cannot see the camera. I don't know if it's chopping off my head or not. <laughs> so. Sorry if it is. The sun is like super bright out here today. But um, we do six weeks one, six weeks off. But on the seventh week of being off, like I said, we're um, I'm just repeating myself. We uh, we check everything. So we'll see. This is only week two of this. This is my second week, and my phone is falling. Oh, the sun is bright. I cannot see nothing. So, what's been going on, everybody? It's been a couple of days since I've uploaded. Since I've uploaded, but it's been a couple of days. It's actually been a week since I've done any kind of footage that was like to my liking to doing. And um. It's all my fault. I had the stitches and stuff in my face, and I didn't really want to be on camera a lot of those. Um, today's outfit is brought to you by Everlast white hoodie that a friend gave me that I love so much. And then uh, the, the only about white hoodie that I have that I can probably keep going because I don't wear it very often. And I have on a t-shirt and a tank top up under this. And then I have some gray leggings and my black gloves. I, um, I have on so many layers of clothes because I stay cold and well, I stay cold period. But here lately, I've noticed that I have been staying like on the warm side. So I'm thinking maybe the iron, the first iron set, it's really kicking in. Because uh, I haven't been really too cold. I've been like actually hot 
and then I'll get super cold in the morning, like throughout the evening. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's hot in here, turn the air conditioner on. And then after so long, it's like, oh, please, it's freezing. Early in the morning, I'm like, it's freezing, turn the heat on. And you know what? I forgot to turn the heat off in the house. Oh well. Maybe the idea of just getting my air because the heat's on. Who cares? But, um, yeah, lately I have, I've been staying, like, very hot, and then I'll get super cold in the morning. Oh, excuse me. But, um, I noticed that the other day when the grandbaby came over, that I was holding her, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, you <laughs> Me and you together, like, we are sweating. I was, like, trying to put her down, but that wasn't happening. She was not letting Gma put her down for nothing. And I was like, oh, Lila, you got to lay down. Gma is hot. It, she didn't care. When I started getting when I started getting hot with her, that's when she's just getting into a good sleep. And it's like, don't put her down. She does not want Gma to put her down. So, when she was over the other day, I just sat there and just held her. You know, I was, like, sweating up a storm. Set up in the middle of my bed, playing around. I went out yesterday and got her a doll, a little doll baby, because all the toys that I had got her for the baby shower, I sent them home to her mama, and now she has no, no toys at my house. So I went out yesterday and bought her a baby doll that sings ABCs. And then when I, gosh, the sun is killing my skin. Um, I'll probably go out today and try to find her another doll baby. Probably go to Walmart and get her. a teddy bear that sings her ABCs to her. Trying to find something that she likes. Some, some small toy that she likes. So, oh gosh, people cannot drive in West Virginia. That's kind of not the okay. I think West Virginians get their license on blue and white special at Kmart because they're closing them all down. So they're trying to hurry up and get them. And I feel like my country accent is really coming through on this vlog, and I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah. The sun is killing my skin. Like I said before, I don't know if I said it in a prior video, but like when the sun hits my skin after so long, it feels like a rubber band being stretched to its max. And like somebody's like setting fire to it. Like it's it's crazy. The um, dermatologist has me on this cream today. I got it yesterday evening, so I started it this morning. It's two times a day, so we'll see how it works. But I don't know, but me and the sun is not getting along at all. It is killing me. My um, water bottle, what's called? Baby daddy. built me another computer and I need to order a new case for it. We fit in one of his old cases but uh, I'm not a big fan of it. The sun is killing me. Sorry I can't stand that. It's really good, getting on my nerves. But um, I'm not a big fan of it. I, um, I need to see about a new case because I, it's one of his old cases and it's just it's not my cup of tea of a case. So, I need to find another one. And, I think what else we can talk about? Because I'm not quite at my appointment yet. My appointment was like a 30 minute drive from my house. Um, I got on the scale this morning. I hadn't gained any more weight. I hadn't gained any more weight, but I hadn't lost any weight either. Which, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Me and this weight loss thing is not the best of friends. Maybe if I get out for exercise more, it might do something. Not doing anything. 
it's showing that it's not doing anything. So. Yeah. I'm tired for some reason. I think my medication made me tired because I just hit back on it. I think one of the side effects to one of my medications is sleep. And yes, I am like sleepy. Like, I can go back to bed and just sleep. I'll probably, if I don't uh, film during my iron, then uh, I'll probably take a nap. See, because I am like just yawning and tired. I guess traffic wasn't that bad coming up this way today. The sun. Traffic wasn't too bad. gonna move somewhere where the sun doesn't shine where it's all dark and it's crowded in here yay let's see what time it is it's 9 48 i think i did pretty good timing lemonade that I normally that I normally um, drink so I got this instead and normally the, the pink lemonade that I do is like the crystal light and um, so I got the lemonade packets for the bottle of water and I normally don't like looking around a bottle of water with me because that's when I'm prone not to drink it because I will actually leave it in the van and be like, I'm not drinking it again. I don't like leaving my drinks in the van or in a car. something to me but I think the sun has done something to the bottle to break it down or like the water and I'm just not a big fan of it so I'm probably didn't park right I just want to throw off my parking but anyway so we're here I will see if I can film while I'm getting this done or if not I will be back So we are well I am I was keep saying we like y'all joining me. Um I have some footage of um Okay, I'm trying to get the camera straight. I have some footage of um while I was in there. Um it's not gonna be the best because it's kinda shaky because I was holding the camera. Well, I mean the phone myself, but I have some footage of it of me getting it. So it's been we're at 10, 11, 12, 1. It's been three hours later. And I'm done. Um, um, 
not as tired this time as I normally am, which is a surprise. But that's just the good in me. It took them four sticks total to get it right. And then it still wasn't like guaranteed, but it stayed. So, yes. They're still pushing for the pick line to be put in because my veins keep collapsing. Um, they was like, just drink plenty of water. Well, they just don't know. Not counting a little bit of water I drank before I went in there. I drink water all night long, all day. I drink a lot of water. I mean, lots of water. I mean, I rarely will get soda in me. But, um, I drunk plenty of water and it's not helping none. I always drink water. I don't mean, I, I just don't understand what's going on. But anyway. Um, so now I am going to try to figure out something to do. I don't know. I definitely still have not, but need to, definitely still need to, have not done. Have not got me a new pair of sneakers yet. I need to get to the gym. I've been very lazy and slacking on the gym. Or at least get to the walk, um, the walking tracks and walk. I've been super lazy on working out. And I need to do something to this head of mine because it, it's just looking a hot mess. Yes, I have been rocking the ponytail forever. It's just been different ponytails or different styles of ponytails. I actually need to um, actually rock a different one. But we shall see what happens. So, um, I will be back. If not, don't forget to I should be back, but if I don't come back, we'll go ahead and end this vlog here and say don't forget to thumbs up because I love everyone's thumbs. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you can be notified when I do my next video. Love everyone. Peace out. Okay, so let's talk. While I was getting my iron, there was this lady across from me, counterpointed for me, I guess you would say. Um, she was there getting her treatments done. And there was two other ladies that eventually came up with her. I don't, I don't know who they were. I think one said that she was her sister. But I'm the type of person, I'm sitting there alone. I'm going to play like I'm all into my phone. And I will look like I am dead into it. And I will be all up in your conversation. Like I will eavesdrop on your conversation in a minute. I don't care. I'm, it's entertaining. I don't have nobody to talk to. So my dog don't care what's going on. So, come to find out that one of the ladies was her sister, and the other lady must have been, like, a neighbor or somebody, right? Well, you can tell that they're from, like, and please do not get me wrong or take me the wrong way when I go to say this, but I guess they were from, like, a trailer park. That's what I would think. I'm sorry, but that's the, that's the assumption they gave me was a trailer park. 
because they knew everybody's business. Well, the sister said that, in, and she's a strong woman because she said she had breast cancer. She's been six years, I think she said. Um, she fought it for six years or six years, she's something with breast cancer. And she's just now getting a, a pretty much clearing that, you know, she doesn't have it or it's in remission or whatever. And I didn't, I didn't really hear that part because they were talking to me and I was uh, um, getting my stuff ready to go. But um, as I was sitting there, was, while I was getting my, my fusions done, her, her sister and her, the girl's sister and her friend was all up in this, and her other sister's been the one that's getting the treatments done. She was all in her business. Like, every time they would bring a bag in there or a vial of some kind of fluid or a medicine for her, she would be like, what is that? Why are they giving it to you? Oh, such and such, you know, she's hooked on pills and she's hooked on that. And then she was like going through the cap, the cabinets and drawers and stuff. And I'm just like, you can tell wherever they're from or their family member or somebody they're around a lot does drugs. It, it's, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Other than to say that I think I wasn't raised around drugs, didn't know about drugs, had no clue what drugs were. I don't think I learned that my mom smoked cigarettes until I was like, maybe what, at the end of grade school, maybe middle school. Back then it was junior high school. Um, I didn't even know that she smoked it because my mom never smoked around us. I mean, she literally would only smoke when we were in the bed sleep. Or maybe if we was gone, but she never smoked around us, so I never knew when I smoked. My dad, I know he smoked cigarettes. Right, and as we call it, green beans. But anyway, so I wasn't raised around drugs at all. Like, I didn't know any family members who did drugs. My parents pretty much sheltered us as far as living. And I pretty much sheltered my daughter like that too. Um, my daughter's biracial, so she was raised in predominantly mid-class, white, high-class neighborhoods. Like. We've never raised her in the projects. In the nothing against the projects. Now, please do not get me wrong or take me wrong on this. We never raised her where there was a lot of drugs, a lot of shootings going on because I never wanted her exposed to that. I wanted her to be exposed to a real lifestyle. Right? So it's just funny how not not even I wouldn't say funny like that, but how you see people all into what somebody else is getting. Now, this her sister has some type of cancer. I want to say breast cancer, maybe. But she looked really good, though. Don't get me wrong. The one that was getting the treatments done, she looked really good. And um, her, it's just how you know you can tell when someone is mixed up in the environment of someone hooked on drugs or doing drugs, because it's like you're trying to find a way to get to it or a way to get some so you can try to say you you got some for this other person so she's like oh yeah you know examples we'll just call her sally next door said that she's on um medication now and i was listening to the conversation and one lady said oh medication for what said um she, she's on depression medicine and the friend that was with them was like um, oh, well, everybody has depression you know what i'm saying everybody's you know going through something and i'm just kind of like yeah like I guess they have friends that are their kids' friends must go to doctors looking for pills and will try to find any excuse to get them. And I just, I just think that is so wrong and it's so crazy how this world has, drugs has taken over this world and it's, uh, gross, yuck. Um... I've never done drugs before. Never thought about doing drugs. The most I have done is drink a wine cooler. I tried smoking weed, marijuana, whatever you want to call it. We call it green beans to my daughter so that she didn't know what we was talking about. I tried smoking it at the age 18. I tried smoking it at eighteen. 
I think maybe like 21 and again once we bought our house like six years ago and I, I mean I clearly count like a handful of times that I've done it I'll, I did it with one of my exes so like a handful of times I've done it it's not me I don't do it um I'm more of a open a wine cooler go to the local bar get a mixed drink or get a drink and call it a night because normally I'm the one driving so I don't support drinking and driving so that's normally what I did but they were all into what she was getting and why she was getting it and what was it for and did she get it in pill form and or you know whatever and I'm just like oh my gosh you all like is it this bad that you all are really seriously like looking for this and I think it's wrong and I feel sorry for the lady that was getting treatments because she pretty much was sitting there then when I went to go leave she's like you already leaving and I was like yeah I'm leaving she's like when did you get her I was like I got her at 10 and I'm done and I was like well I was just here for iron this time and she was like oh that's why I was like yeah I said I hope you feel better you know and I just I just feel sorry for her because you could tell she wasn't out to look for anything for anybody else that she was only there to get her treatments done and you know get, get her back to what she would say I mean, not fully healthy, right? But, yeah. But, yeah, I just think this drug epidemic is really, has really taken over. And how people are really just trying to feed into other people's problems. We're trying to find a way to make a quick dollar, I guess. Also is how you could say it. As to say that, oh, you know, I got this drug or this pill. And, you know, I'll sell it to you or, you know, tell such such I have it and we'll sell it. Just to make money. It's, I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and say that because I just really think that, I don't know, I don't see drugs as a way to go. I know I have a medication. I take a medication that makes me sleep, that, well, that, that helps me sleep at night, and I don't even take it half the time because I just, I don't like a medication that controls me, that controls what I do, but for the longest there, I was like not wanting to sleep, couldn't sleep. I was like, ugh. But anyway, but yeah, but I just wanted to say that I am going to get my nails done. So I'll be back to show you the new color on the nails. Hey, so we are back. Just got my feel in. I was going to do a dare with a friend with my nails and decided not to. <laughs> just went with my original plan on getting my nails to match my outfits for the next couple of days that I go somewhere so they didn't turn the gold didn't turn out like I wanted to but it's okay because I'm not very picky with my nails as long as they're close to what I say and excuse the reflection of the sun right here but I got them blue with gold glitter under the blue you can even see it. But yeah. So that's what they look like. So anyway, I'm going to end this vlog because I am headed home to get comfortable and maybe try to put on another video. But you all have a good day. Like I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. And ring that bell notification so you'll be notified of my next video. Be safe. Love.